on coffee, the government plans to increase productivity from 2 kg to 10 kg per tree and production from 50,000 metric tons to 102 tons by the year 2027. We expect a bumper harvest of 44 million nitro kg bags. The government is appealing to farmers to make use of subsidized fertilizer to increase agricultural production and productivity. The government targets timely distribution of fertilizer for short trains, approximately 100,000 metric tons, which will be distributed to farmers. Going forward, the government will continue to support farmers in order to reduce the cost of production through availability of affordable inputs, mechanization, and capacity of agronomic practices and technologies. The second phase of farmers' registration is expected to end on 13 September 2023 in 45 counties. The government plans to distribute fertilizer beyond the urban cereal boat stores by establishing last mile stores to serve rural farmers. The national government is closely working with counties and elected leaders to participate in the last mile delivery of fertilizer to farmers. The county increased the number of fishing vessels and storage handling facilities. As a result, fish production has increased by 22.5%. This allowed the fishermen to go off the reef and avoid the already overexploited inshore waters. The supply of fish handling equipment targeting all the sub-counties also reduced fish harvest post-harvest losses, and this has enhanced fish safety to the consumers. I conclude, I want to reiterate that the government believes that increased investment in the agricultural sector will lead the economic recovery of our country. It is the right decision to make investments in agriculture that will spur growth in the sector, leading to lower food prices, increased incomes, and employment for Kenyans. To date, we have been able to register 4.3 farmers against a target of 5 million. The digitally registered farmers are uploaded in the e-subsidy management system, with which has issued 3.6 million e-vouchers to farmers for various value chains. Farmers have been accessing fertilizer at KNTC and NCPB stores countrywide. At the government will construct also a common user facility at Ndongo Kundu Special Economic Zone in Mombasa County, among other interventions. We believe this, that this county will inevitably play a more significant role in the implementation of the Mita agricultural value chains. For, member, for plans to move production from 5.2 billion liters per year to 10 billion liters per year. Why have you to Karabati factory yeti ya maziwa hapa Mombasa Meritini na kule Nyambene kule eh, kule Giganjo kule Nyaururu Eldoret Dandora na Kitale mambo haya yote tutaleta hiyo maziwa ili tuuze kule nje na tutatumia poti yetu ya Mombasa